so this this particular app is meant to be a list of um, clients, like customers, for example, or you know something like that, where you have a list of contacts that you want to keep track of. Um, so there's more than one screen here. This is the first screen, um, and it's just going to show the list of the contacts that you've got in there, and it's got a little find box up here and stuff like that. And when you tap on one of these, um, we want it to go on to the second screen, uh, which shows you know the sort of detailed contact information. So. Um, this shows things like um, their address and phone number and email address. Um, and we've also got different things in these different sections. So what this, uh, this section divider is called an accordion panel. And um, that's just another widget we, we can drag on here. If I wanted to you know, add, add that on another screen, I could start another screen. Um, I could go down and, and find that uh, accordion panel. If I can remember where the, oh, that might be under layouts, yeah accordion panel and I can just kind of drag it on here and obviously you know on that other screen so I'm going to change the colors and stuff on it but you know it's the same basic idea so you know we can put that on there um, we can set that up by a percent so that it'll uh, you know adjust to the screen but then we can put the different widgets you know the different things you drag onto the screen we can put them in these different sections I don't want something that big um, so we can put them in the different sections and it will only show one section at a time and when these are clicks between them they can see different things so that's a nice trick for getting more stuff on the screen um, you know, than, than would physically fit, is to be able to divide it up uh, using something like this accordion panel. So um, let's go back to uh, the one that's pre-made here. So we've got the, the address information here. There's actually more information in here than you can see. Um, and that's because this, this is all put inside this, um, what's called a scroller. So Anything that's put inside this, you can see it's called scroller here. Um, anything that's put inside this, the user will be able to scroll around if it doesn't fit on the screen. So if there's more information here that then will fit, um, then uh, they'll be able to do that. So if I showed this on a bigger screen size, for example, you can see you know, that there's extra information down here that wasn't on that Android phone screen. Um, but because it's in a scroller, at runtime, the user will be able to just um, swipe it to, to move it around and see the extra information. So these are all kind of tools that we can use to, to improve um, the, that sort of mobile experience when you're designing here in, in this uh, visual designer. <clears throat> um, the other sort of interesting things are, are, you know, that we can take this stuff and kind of integrate it um, with, the, with the sort of device features here. So. Um, in this case, we've got a call button here. Um, and so what, what this is doing is the RPG program is giving it what we call a hyperlink reference, which has the phone number in it. So you see that that's a variable. That's, that's, you know, this is an RPG variable called phone, and, and the RPG program can put the phone number in there. Um, and, and then by setting this up with a special formatting of telephone link, um, when you tap on that on, a, on an actual phone, like an iPhone or something like that, it will actually open up the dialog to call that number um, so that you can integrate you know integrate it into your database to the point where you know you can have you know the, the customer information on the screen and you can just tap a button to call them or the same thing with with email we've got that same kind kind of capability it's an email uh, field instead of a phone number but it's the same you know basic idea um, another sort of interesting feature we have for mobile is the, the signature pad so this is another widget um, that you can kind of take and drag onto the screen. So I can drag that in here and of course you know you can style it and set it up however you want. Um, but the idea here is that when somebody slides their finger over it they can actually um, write you know right into the right into the signature pad. They can actually you know draw their signature. And then this gets connected. Um, the, there's a property in here for the value of this that actually gets connected to an RPG variable. So you, what you do is you set that to like a, be a, a very large variable, like um, you know maybe 10,000 long. And what it'll do is it'll actually put the strokes that the user made with their finger um, in there. So it'll say something like you know start at coordinate zero zero, but then make a stroke going down to draw a line um, to this point, and then it'll say make another stroke from here to here. So it'll be the instructions needed to, to redraw that same signature. Um, so um, and as far as the programmer is concerned, you know, they, they don't really need to you know, understand the contents of the field, um, but just really connect it to a large field 
and then you know it goes back to the program. Program can save it into a database file or whatever. And then when it displays the screen again, it can just put that information back and it'll show the same signature there on the screen. So that way they can capture a signature. You could have somebody like a truck driver that's dropping off deliveries and getting a signature and, and, and so storing that so you can come back and look at it later. And we've also got APIs that can take that signature and convert it into a picture or something like that if uh, you, know, you wanted to save it as a JPEG file or something and put it in the IFS you know, for printing later or something like that. So we, we've kind of got all that handled as well.